OK, here we are. Here we're, we're on the next one already. It's Panasonic's AGHMR10, coming in at a list price of $21.99. What is awesome about this device? Well, you might notice that this device is the, uh, the standard recorder for Panasonic's HD lipstick camera. I don't even remember that model number. It's so long and, and confusing. However, this device works also as a standalone HD SDI recorder. All right? It's recording in Panasonic's AVC cam codec, which is basically H.264. All right? Why is that nifty? Well, let's say you're at Art Basel, and you want to record an event and immediately turn it over to YouTube. You don't want any delay, right? So you're in the field. You've got this battery-powered device. Works on your, uh, your camcorder's batteries. Pop them off and stick it on here. You take an HDSDI signal in, dial its bit rate down to 6 megabits per second. All right? That's the lightest uh, sort of proxy level AVC Cam HD codec. So you're recording H.264 high definition 1920 by 1080 at 6 megabits per second. So you're getting very, very light compressed files. So an hour's worth of footage might be less than 100 megabytes. Who knows? It's still going to look beautiful because it's in a very sort of sophisticated compression, but it's not going to take up a lot of space. And because its native format is an MXF file, you can take the SDHC card, pop it into your computer, or connect USB if you don't want to take the SDHC card out, and go directly to YouTube with your MXF file. That's kind of a nifty thing. Uh, a couple of my clients have said, Jesse, you know, I've got to record in the field and get directly up to the internet with little minimal downtime. For, for those friends of mine, I recommend this HGMR10 from Panasonic. It has a, it, you know, it's got a standalone battery piece. Unlike the Aja options that only have the XLR input, unlike the Nano Flash, which only has a Limo connector in, this will take its own battery, which you know, can work for you if you're a battery kind of guy, or, um, or against you if really what you prefer is the stability of an AC power supply. OK, AGHMR10. If you really wanted AC power, though, obviously it'll work right off of the battery charger AC-DC converter. Cool? Are we happy in the chat room? The chat room is just off the wall tonight. They're having so much fun. That's good. I'm glad um, to hear that. <laughs> they like the crew, especially. We got a great crew. They like the host. Who um, can blame them? But Jim would like to know. Uh, Jim came in kind of late, and he wants you to cover the Atomos. Jim, I'm glad you came. Uh, we're sorry you missed the beginning. You missed the Atomos Ninja, man. No, I'm just kidding. The Atomos Ninja, we're going to close the show with it because it's so popular and so awesome. Actually, it's second to last. Second to last. The, the last one is the Cinedec Extreme. That is a beautiful piece of machinery. But Atomos Ninja, he's coming up, Jim. You haven't missed him. Don't even worry about it. All right? All right. So uh, let's just do a quick recap. What have we mentioned so far? We've got the Convergent Design Nano Flash. What's special about it? Coming in at $29.95. You can record to compact flashcards up to 280 megabits a second. Oh, all right. Nice graphic. And it's so light, you can mount it anywhere. Velcro will do for this, although we never really recommend Velcro. If you're in a pinch, Velcro is going to hold this to your camera, no problem. Next, we covered Aja's Key Pro Mini coming in at $19.95. Totally awesome, kind of expensive compact flashcards that you're going to need. But what does it have that nobody else has so far? XLR analog inputs. Very important if you need to make that happen on the back of your camera, for instance. Gemini, Convergent Gemini. After Aja Key Pro's Mini, we went to Aja Key Pro's Maxi, the big brother. Uh, there's the Aja Key Pro, list price $39.95, although we've been doing much better on them lately. What's awesome about this? The flexible drives. You can really put some high quality ProRes 422 HQ content on it, eject the drive, and plug it straight in somewhere else as a uh, bus powered bus-powered FireWire hard drive. Also, it works just like the rest of Aja's products, up conversion, down conversion, cross conversion, analog to digital, get you out of a jam. And I've been using these to record shows. Instead of rolling up with you know, 10 beta decks for my 10 camera multi-shoots, I've actually switched over to KeyPros now because it's so much easier for my editors. One other advantage that the Aja KeyPro has over all these other guys is time code. Time code. It's got a separate, not just SDI embedded, it's got a separate BNC input for time code, which really allows you to Use multiple key pros to replace your VTRs in the field, in the truck. You can um, effectively share time code across all of your, your recording devices, etc. All right. 
Moving on, oh yeah, and we also covered Panasonic's AGHMR10, a standalone HDSDI input. It's got HDMI output, right? So you can monitor twice, HDSDI and HDMI, but it doesn't have HDMI input, not so important. You've got plenty of cameras with HDSDI output, right? And what are we using this for? We can either record at high bit rate, 24 megabits per second, or the low bit rate, six megabits per second, which allows you to quickly and effectively take your MXF files and get them up to YouTube with minimal downtime.